And I'm an artist a researcher who works in different projects uh, related to eco-social crisis. And something that it really is very important for me is the passion to create. And also, maybe some of you might not know like what um, art, art practices can be various different uh, spaces. Uh, they have been historically created to be more, I mean, like in terms of a Western approach, be more in museums, galleries, social engaged practice happens mostly with people and happens mostly in public space. So in this case, like something that I've been really working upon is being um, working in the challenges that uh, eco-social challenges uh, can um, bring to us, to re rethink together, to be in together, and uh, how artistic spaces that are experiential, experimental, and permeable can engage with other worlds. So how to create spaces in between that can generate connections with academia, with activism, with uh, civil society, and being collaborating with each other in ways that can be like led by artistic practices. Uh, one example that I was going to show you is uh, the project called Samwen Celebrating Cohesion Through the Watery Heritage of the Somerset Levels and Moors. It's a project that happened in the UK in, the, in Somerset Levels and it's an area of the UK that has been um, very um, engaged with this dynamism of water. So from uh, in the winter it's uh, very normal that this territory is flooded and in 2014 there was a main a major um, flooding happening and people started to be uh, very scared of water despite that it's been always connected to water so together with Sage Price and people who were affected by affected by flooding we were working a lot about this um, issues through creating together a boat is a positive response to being with water and being engaging with water so this was uh, one of the uh, elements that we encounter and we work uh, throughout years together uh, with this element of watery territories and how to become more water and how to be more with the territories we experience and we inhabit as it is uh, the nature of um, the like nature is fluid and it changes uh, alone in time so this project is being uh, working uh, in the territory of the of Somerset levels, and I wanted to also share another example. And it's it's hard to show it uh, from this uh, talking only and no images, but uh, I will try again. Sheila, would you try again? Would you try again? I try. Yeah, I am try. I would, see what a minute. Happens. Take a minute from my time for you. Ah, <laughs> uh, just doesn't doesn't allow me for some reason. Uh, and if you want yeah. to send me your slides, I could download them and share them for you, if that would be. We already late uh, for that, and um, yeah, it's a shame. But uh, yeah, I cannot do anything with that. I will travel a little bit towards another space, and it is in um, in Spain. I was working together with uh, kids, and these kids were. Um, basically very interested in working uh, with the territory where they live. It's a rural school where uh, mostly um, this um, the, the is, is in northern Spain and um, and also as well like uh, what happens is that as you know climate change is affecting territories in different ways and in this case kids were already worried and affected by the visual element that was pretty present for them, which is like the landscape that is green and is normally connected to water in such a way that is very vibrant and it is it's called a green because it's northern Spain and it's green and, and rainy, it was becoming to be yellow and very dry. And this year was particularly very drought, the, the huge drought in Spain. Um, but yeah, we worked together with plants, uh, imagining the plants in the past in this territory, there are a lot of caves, prehistorical caves, and also imagining the plants in the future and how how we could connect these times differently by creating a ritual together to communicate somehow with all these uh, different elements. So the, the, together we explore that in caves there are no drone plants at all. 
So basically, it was a way to uh, draw and create drawings of plants that were projected in a prehistorical cave together. So it was a, a ritual that started from the territory where we were and was presented in the Reina Sofia Museum in Madrid. We were all together going and celebrating this aspect uh, of, of, of what we created during these times. Normally, the projects that I've been working on is always time framed in different ways. So in this case, it was a few months together. And other um, uh, projects that are more based in research can be even longer. And it really is important that there is time to exchange with each other to learn from each other and to also like create this space uh, you know that is evolving together and and by the collaboration generating this um um not known something that can happen that comes and uh, and uh, it can be the result or part of this process so like these elements of artistic practice is uh, mostly in this way of how uncertainties can also be an element of resilience uh, by learning from these projects and how much is really important as well for the scientific community if we think about the climate change and not knowing what is going to happen, how these dialogues between generating questions uh, but also as well uh, facing and um, um, working together with the uncertainties of the times together, how this uh, could eventually be different um, spaces for that. I have also have worked with uh, scientific communities in different um, uh, spaces. I didn't say that uh, I am originally from Spain, but I live now in Germany and I'm working quite a lot of also in different contexts of Central Eastern Europe, particularly right now in, in uh, the context of Ukraine that has been under invasion for a number of years and how much also artistic practices can create these spaces for dialogue in a different way to create cohesion and to create bonds with each other, um, which also are spaces of resistances and spaces of like different networks uh, that can be together and uh, as well as mentioned before these all these elements of being in a meaningful and a space where the intention creates uh, something new uh, is also as well creating different um, connections and bonds with each other and how relevant it is in these times we are experiencing that are more tensions and division in so many levels uh, in the in any country we are uh, living upon uh, so um yeah also as well, there are different examples that I wanted to show you as well visually, which are training courses that are uh, cohabiting spaces. Normally, there are different uh, spaces where 25 participants come together, we live together, we learn with each other, and we also create with each other during a period of 10 days, 15 days. And this has been also mixing people from different countries in the European Union, but also abroad, because this depends on the funding that exists. But it's been happening regularly more in, um, in Germany, in Spain, like in different uh, spaces. And it's also as well for me a form of resistance and creating these uh, unique connections from being creating together. So this is also something that I wanted to share from these images as well. Uh, I would like to also maybe share these links uh, in the chat and you can have a look as well to these projects that I meant to share, uh, show. And I'm so sorry because yeah, it really worked in the presentation and uh, I was it was really visually engaging, but somehow mm -hmm. I think but just mm -hmm. to something not known. <laughs> And uh, so, yeah, I would like just to share as well, yeah, how, how important and, and also if we talk about love, how much I love such spaces and how much I believe that artistic practices as a form of permeable um, spaces and also connecting critical thinking, but also creativity together and creation through emotions can also make a change in the times uh, we are living and also how much is also important for I was telling myself as well. <laughs> so how much also yeah can contribute to a seeds for eco-social renewal. So thank you so much for